Today is April 3rd, 2013. This is Law Padoodle Kennel. Our website is www.lawpdoodle, kennel, K-E-N-N-E-L.com. We are located in Lost Creek, West Virginia. This is a litter of 11 second generation F1B Labradoodles. We'll give her a little privacy and clean up her mess. Um, they were born on the 24th of February, 2013. And their mommy is our beautiful first generation, uh, uniquely colored, which is why we got her. When we picked her out, she wasn't even, I think she was only a couple weeks old when I spotted her and found her. Um, but we brought her home as a puppy. So she's been with us since she was a little baby. Her name is Porcupine. We call her Porky for short. Her picture is on our website. Um, as well as her son, the sire of this litter, who is Jack, our handsome silver and white brindle AKC registered standard poodle. All right, now we have six girls and five boys in this litter. This litter has all been spoken for, so there are none of these puppies left. We may have a litter of Labradoodles coming up here soon. Um, if you are interested in one of our Labradoodles, we only have two girls in our program right now, Porky and Schnooky. Um, and Schnooky may be having a litter for us uh, here this spring, so uh, definitely give us a holler. We can tell you a little bit more about that uh, litter, that upcoming litter. All right, but this litter is all spoken for, and they're getting ready to go home here in a couple of weeks. So we thought we'd let their families to be have a little peek at how they're growing and how they're playing. I'm kind of trying to wake them up a little bit. I fed them a little bit earlier, and then we did individual pictures, which will also be updated on our website later today. And uh, so I kind of got them a little exhausted, as puppies do get this age. Um, but I'm trying to liven them up here for you guys so I can introduce them. Okay, this first little girl that's on my lap, this is Maylee. She's one of our cream girls. See, there's little Miss Maylee's cute little ha -ha. This guy right here is Balto that keeps running up to me. He's one of our beautiful um, sable parties. All right, so there's Balto. <laughs> There's our little Maley again. And let's see, this uh, right here is Dalton. He's one of our two cream boys. You can see he's actually a cream apricot party. All right, he's kind of got a nice little curly coat. So there is uh, Dalton. And right behind him is, um, that is Furman. He's actually our smallest puppy, and not Furman, I'm sorry, I got confused with my, uh, I have a litter of standard poodles, also sired by Jack, that were born a week after this litter. So I do apologize. I was close though. His name is Foster. He's actually the smallest puppy in the litter right now. Good things come in small packages though, don't they? Yep. And uh, don't let that fool you because oftentimes our smallest in the litter have sometimes mature bigger than their siblings when it uh, when they grow up. All right. So there's our little Foster. All right. Uh, right there is Cece. She's one of our beautiful sable brindles. She's actually going to be going home with her sister. Um, that is the um, one that we call Evie. And actually, I believe that's, oh, no, yeah, that's Evie right there. She's resting there in the potty box. She's still tired. Yeah. Okay. And let's see. This must be Gilligan. Are we green? Yep. This is Gilligan. He's our other sable party. He and his uh, brother Balto look very, very much alike. He's just a tad little bit lighter, but not much. All right, there's Cece again. Here's Foster on my lap. You're a friendly little boy, aren't you? Yes, you are. Look at that. Look at that face. He actually is almost a twin to his sister Lita. She's back there in the corner. We'll get to her as well. All right, and this is Pookie. Pookie's actually going to be going home with one of our Labradoodle. I mean, excuse me, one of our standard poodle puppies to California here in a few weeks. She is our lighter sable. There is little Miss Pookie. Okay, of course, these are ID names, often changed by their families when they go home. Um, but we prefer to call them by, you know, give them a little name rather than call them Puppy 1, Puppy 2, or Blue Collar, Yellow Collar. We do use collars to identify them and keep them straight, but uh, we like to give them little ID names. Don't call them by that name on a regular basis, so they're very easily adapted. They very easily adapt to their new names when they go home with their families. All right, there's Miss Lita. Oh, come here, baby. Come here, baby girl. Yeah. There's Miss Lita. There's Miss Lita. Hi, baby girl. 
There she is. All right, that's Gilligan again staring at me like I'm a goof nut. Yeah, I know I am. All right, here's Bennett back here in the corner being lazy. He's our lightest sable party. Got a beautiful face. That's Mr. Bennett. Might actually have a little brindle in that, that uh, those markings when he changes as he matures, keeping in mind that all of these puppies, sables and brindles, do change quite a bit as they get older. Their coat changes, they get a little bit more silvering. I think they just keep getting more and more character in their unique colorings and unique markings. All right, back there is Miss Sheba. There she is. Say hello, Miss Sheba. Hello, baby girl. She says, I'm tired. It's nap time. It's nap time. Come here, baby girl. She's one of our biggest and got quite a thick coat on her, too. So there's Miss Sheba. She's actually going to stay right here in West Virginia, aren't you, baby girl? Huh? Yeah. See if you're going to be going to Mannington, West Virginia. Yeah. All right. There's Miss Maley again. This little guy's just, he's just attached to me, isn't it? Yep. That's Foster, and right behind him was Lita. See, she's coming up to me now, sweetie. I know, baby. I'm baby girl. Yeah. This is still the stage of discovery where things are a little bit overwhelming, especially things that are changed and different, but say mommy uh, actually they'll be weaned off of mommy here soon and then we'll be over here playing yep it just be people's peoples and puppies peoples and puppies yeah all right there's pookie again and there's balto again and uh i believe is that well miss evie you're awful lazy this afternoon yes you are you going through a growth spurt Huh? You going through a growth spurt? Yeah. She's a big girl. She's a big girl. All of these puppies were so well behaved for their individual pictures. I'm getting ready to take a picture of um, all of the puppies of our standard poodle litter too, which is the biggest litter we've ever had in history. And oh, I keep saying I don't want to repeat these big litters, and I think that's exactly why these moms keep giving them to me. I uh, really <laughs> that litter of standard poodles was 13 puppies. Uh, no DOAs, nothing. I mean, just 13 beautiful puppies, and they're all doing quite well, to say the least. A little bit smaller than our average, considering the size of, as far as their growth, considering the size of the litter, but um, once again, that will not necessarily play into their maturity, maturity size. So, but... Anyway, so once again, this is a litter that was born on the 24th of February, 2013 of second generation F1B Labradoodles to our Jack and Porky. And uh, they are all spoken for, but like I said, if you're interested in, um, we also do have six beautiful boys left in that litter of standard poodles that I mentioned earlier. Uh, colorings are very much the same as you'll see in a later video, as well as on our website. Just click on the link for standard poodles from our homepage and uh, you will see Jack's beautiful, beautiful litter with our gorgeous brindle girl, Dixie. And um, there are six handsome boys, brindles, parties, sables, that are remaining. And uh, out of that litter of six, of, excuse me, of 13. And if you'd like to check out those pictures, please do go to our and visit our website. They are going to be stunning puppies. Always keep in mind, don't get lost on that poodle thing. There's a real dog under those frou-frou cuts that you do not have to have your poodle look like. We have a couple of red standard poodles from a couple of years ago that a couple has. And when they walk up and down the road because of the way that they get them cut with a full face and full coat, uh, they're often mistaken for golden doodles. Um, but they are beloved AKC registered uh, red standard poodles. We still hear from them. They're just wonderful, wonderful people. Okay. So thank you very much for viewing our puppies. And may God bless you.